zero coast, O coast, no coast. Make Noise gave me a no coast. And they want to give one to you as well. They're part of my massive year end giveaway, which I'll tell you more about in just a second. Right now, let me tell you about this synth. It's been a few weeks since I filmed that unboxing sequence, and I've been learning the ins and outs of this little guy. It's an incredibly deep synthesizer, so I'm just going to be sharing a few things about it that I find to be really unique. The patches I'll be showing you were all put together on different days over the last month, and I really tried to take a different approach with it each time. So here's my journey so far with the O-Coast. It's really weird talking about this synth because it's a really weird synth. Its layout and functionality are noticeably different from anything else out there. The name Zero Coast comes from the fact that it borrows from, as well as eschews, techniques from the so-called East and West Coast schools of synthesis pioneered by Robert Moog and Don Buchla. It's semi-modular, meaning you can use these inputs and outputs to route your signal as you like, but you also have the option of playing it without having patched anything because of the normaled connections. Those are the pre-existing connections shown with these gold lines. So that just makes it easier to get going without having to patch from scratch every time, but you can also replace those connections by patching to the appropriate input. where the gate is being triggered by the Zero Coast's internal clock, so you're hearing the synth fire off at regular intervals. I'm using the random source here to modulate a whole bunch of parameters, such as the tone shaping circuits, as well as the slope generator, which is modulating the timing of the other modulations. And they've made the clock really fun to play with. There's a tap tempo button, so two taps will immediately set a new tempo. There's also a tempo input for external clock signals or to get wacky with some self-clocking. So for instance, we could patch our clock to trigger our slope and the end of our slope to set our tempo and our random source to change the time of our slope, thus continually changing the tempo. <laughs> A major thing that stands out about the No Coast is its lack of filter. If you've played with synthesizers at all, you probably know filters as one of the main sound sculpting tools available to you. What they're filtering out is harmonic content. Here, if you don't have an external filter you want to patch through, you do have two sort of analogous options. The multiply and overtone controls add and shift the harmonics in your sound, and the balance control adjusts the blend between the fundamental frequency of your oscillator and all the overtones. Let's hear this on a real filter-heavy genre. Another thing to note, the Zero Coast doesn't give you great control over notes. You can get random from here and you can wiggle the pitch knob manually, but to tell it to play specific notes you would need some kind of external sequencer or any old MIDI controller. All right, there's one more little patch idea I wanna try. I wanna control the O Coast with a plant. I got this in the mail the other day. It's called a MIDI sprout. It didn't come with any instructions, but I think you just attach these nodes to a plant and they detect tiny electrical currents on the surfaces of leaves, which this box then converts into MIDI information. So let's go grab a plant. This is Simon. We're gonna see what he sounds like. So it looks like these pads attach to these nodes. Then I'll peel this off and stick these to a leaf. Looks like the other end of this would fit right here. MIDI cable going to no coast MIDI. I'm turning it on. Hmm. I just heard a note. <laughs> Well, what I was gonna say is these lights look cool and the Zero Coast says it's getting MIDI. I wonder if the... 
Okay, I figured it out. We needed a MIDI interface. So now I've got the MIDI Sprout plugged into this IntelliGel Micro MIDI, and that is giving us proper triggers and pitch information. So it's slightly less random than the Zero Coast random, which will just give you literally any frequency. This seems to be quantized to a chromatic scale, uh, and you could use tools to quantize it even further. I love that it comes from a plant, though. So, a really strange synth, but a really compelling one. So much fun to play with, and uh, so much more to explore than what I got into in this video. It can get pretty aggressive, pretty experimental. All the sounds you heard in the intro of this video were made on the No Coast. <laughs> Thanks again to Make Noise for sending it over. On my second channel, if you're interested, there are more No Coast videos. There are full-length versions of some of the music from this video. And about that giveaway, there are lots of great things in the giveaway. The O Coast, of course. We've also got microphones from Sure, a hard drive from La C, a Canon camera, and that's not even half of it. So go check it out. I will link it everywhere. And follow me on Instagram because the winners will be announced there in the first week of January. Good luck to everybody. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. This is super sticky.